Craft Warehouse followers. I am really excited about this one today. Um, we are going to be making a couple little gnomes. And it's so simple. This would be a great craft with your kids as well. So we're using one of the faux fur pom-poms from our fabric and yarn department. So they're usually um, used for making a little hat, but we're going to transform them into a gnome. So I got two white ones here and then one gray one because, you know, you got to have some gray. Spread the love. Um, I also have these cute little buttons from Jesse James. These are autumn leaves. Um, if you aren't a huge fan of the leaves and you are wandering the stores, there are some other adorable, cute little fall ones that you could easily pick up and add to this project. Um, I have my wood beads in 8mm to 10mm. Works great. And then I'm using this fall collection of these wool felt squares. These are going to be the perfect size, you guys. And you're going to get, there's eight colors, and you're going to get two of each. So I'm just going to kind of pull these apart so you can see all the amazing colors here. Ooh, that orange. Look at that one. That one is gorgeous. It's got a cream. Got to have your white. And it looks like we got a couple greens here. Oh, I would love this last green. So look at all those colors. So beautiful. So everybody can make a gnome and have a lot of fun with this. So let's go ahead and get started. So a few things that you are going to need aside from this is a pair of scissors. And then I'm going to be using hot glue today. Um, and I have one that I can also set onto that low temp, so I'm not burning myself, but fabric tack is a great alternative. It's also going to give you a little bit more flexibility, um, with your hat because the, um, hot glue is going to be a little bit hard. All right. So I definitely think I'm going to do these colors. So let's go ahead and get started on these two color hats first. Just gonna grab two. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do with that gray, this orange one, and we're gonna start with this guy here. So I'm just gonna fold it in this triangle, okay? And then I'm gonna glue along the edge with hot glue. So I'm just gonna come right in with my hot glue gun. I'm going to go all the way down to the end and then just fold and match my ends up. So this is going to be the start to the hat, you guys. And then I want to kind of have a curve to my hat. So I'm going to come in here. And kind of put a little curve to it. Nothing crazy, just a little bit. I'm going to take just a little bit more off, I think. All right. So then when you are using these, you want to make sure this little tie is going to be up at the top. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some hot glue right around the edge. And then what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze and put it right over the top. Ooh, I actually am not liking the way this looks. So let's go ahead and round that out just a tad. So let's go ahead and start that hot glue. We're going to go hot glue all the way around the hat. And then we're just going to have the little pom-pom part, stretchy part right there. And then we're just going to squeeze him right on over the pom-pom as far as I can. Okay. So we have that just like that. And I can kind of play with his hat, kind of maneuver his hat just a little bit. But we're going to come in with that bead now to create the nose. 
we're gonna kind of tuck the nose right under there so I'm not gonna have to worry about the fact that there's a hole at all because um, both the fur and the hat are gonna hide it so I'm just gonna pop them right there Look how cute he's looking. Now from here, if I really wanted to, I could kind of pop up the hat a little bit, see how it kind of gives it a little bit of an edge. Um, I am gonna go ahead and add a little bit of fall embellishment. Ooh, picking out the leaf is gonna be the hard part, you guys. Maybe I'll pair it up. I actually, I think I'm gonna stick with these two guys. I'm going to go ahead and do two on this hat. So again, I'm just going to come in with that hot glue. And just hold them right on there. And then I'm going to come in with this other little leaf. And hot glue all the way around it. And I'm gonna put the leaf, I think right here. So I did kind of overlap these two buttons. Um, so I did make sure I had glue all the way around on that yellow one so that it's also attaching to this big orange leaf. And then let's go ahead and just kind of adjust his hat. I'm kind of crinkling it. You can kind of push it in in areas. Just as gonna be a preference on how you want the hat to look. I like that right there. Isn't he darling, you guys? Okay, let's go on to our next little gnome. I'm gonna set him aside. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. So just fold corner to corner. gonna try to get this as close matched up as close as I can before I come in with that glue and I like to do a thin line of glue the thinnest I can because I don't want it to be super stiff okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing I'm gonna curve that hat and I'm going to curve it just a little bit more this time. All right. I like to see how the front looks. So when I went and curved up just a little bit more than that last one, so it's going to create a little pocket right there. I think that's going to look really cute for the nose. And I'm not going to put hot glue in this area. So I'm just going to come around on the sides and no hot glue right where the nose will go. So let's bring that pom pom here and be ready. And we're going to go ahead and hot glue. Again, I'm not going all the way to where the nose will be. Close, but not all the way. And then, just gonna squeeze him on down, work him down. Work the hat down as far as you can over the fur and down the palm. All right, so you can already see these two are gonna have a different look. This one, the hat kind of comes out and over the nose and we're gonna pop the nose right in that little gap there. Already loving how different these are looking. So I'm gonna come in with that bead, just put some hot glue and we're gonna tuck him. I'm gonna tuck him a little bit underneath the nose. Just a tad. 
How cute. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I love how different they are looking. I think this one, I might go ahead and add a couple leaves and I'm gonna add them in some different spots here. So I'm gonna come in with this uh, burgundy color one. It's gorgeous. And again, I'm kind of putting the hot glue all the way around the um, bead here, or the button, sorry. And I just kind of hold it there until it can get nice and connected and attach to that felt. And then we're gonna come in with this other green fall leaf. And I'm gonna attach them up over here. Okay. And just adding that leaf completely kind of tucked his hat in a little bit there, giving him a different look for his hat. Look how darling that is, you guys. Ooh, I'm gonna have to put these in a tray because they are looking so cute. So now we're gonna go ahead and do this last one and let's see what color felt I wanna use. Okay, you guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and come in with that red. It's just so beautiful. Um, kind of given more of that traditional kind of red cap gnome. So again, I'm just gonna fold that corner to corner. Lining everything up the best I can from the start. And then I'm just gonna put my little line of hot glue or again, your fabric tack. Your fabric tack will not dry as stiff as the hot glue will. Um, so if you're wanting a little bit more flexibility, um, I would suggest grabbing some fabric tack for this. But I always love a hot glue gun. It makes it easy if I'm crafting with kids. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just slightly kind of round this out a little bit. Nothing fancy. I don't want it to point. So I'm gonna kinda come through, round that cap out a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna make this gnome a little bit different too. So I have my palm ready. I'm gonna, again, hot glue all the way around, but I'm gonna give room because I think I'm gonna glue this back. So I'm gonna go give good two fingers width of not putting hot glue at the front. And then again, you're gonna take this and try to squeeze it down as far as you can on your fur palm. All right. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this little cap up just a tad. And we're gonna glue, just take a little hot glue gun, or glue, and go all the way across. We're gonna fold it over and hold it there for a second. And then I am gonna make sure that this has some hot glue underneath. So I will just kind of squeeze a little underneath the hat here and pull the hat down as far as I can. Looking so cute. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add that nose and I'm gonna kinda just tuck them right underneath this hat. So again, my eight millimeter, 10 millimeter bead, whichever one you prefer. I'm working with that eight millimeter. And I just slightly kind of tucked the nose under the hat so it's hiding that bead hole. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add leaves. I have a couple colors here, so I got some browns and a yellow, but I think I'm gonna do both brown on this one because that is so cute. I really like the brown on this red. So let's go ahead and start with this big leaf.
And since I'm gonna have one leaf left, I actually think I'm gonna go back to that first gnome and we're gonna add a third leaf to them. Okay. And I'm gonna put this one near the top. And then I'm gonna slightly Kind of twist the hat a little bit. Kind of play with them just to kind of get whatever vibe I want the little hat to have. If I really needed to, I could kind of, if I wanted to like tuck this hat and have it go to the side, I could take a little hot glue there and just, let's go ahead and do that so you guys can see what that looks like. So just, just a tad hot glue or fabric tack and just kind of hold him down there. So now his hat will kind of lean to the side and he'll be held there and not move. Really cute, okay. So I'm gonna actually have this gnome's hat go this direction. Cause I want it to go opposite of my red hat and we're gonna add that final leaf come back adding a leaf to this gnome's hat. All right, you guys. And now I have three happy little gnomes. Oh my gnome, look how cute they are. And they all are a little bit different and have their own personality. I just love it. Hey you guys, thank you for joining me.